Cochrane's an independent review of the medical research that's been done around the world in English, in French, in every language, pulls it together and gives you an assessment of is this treatment effective or not. The one that applies to most patients are the screening tests and, and health prevention interventions. So that involves anything from vaccines to children to screening for high blood pressure, cancer, heart disease, etc. And those systematic reviews are very, very helpful. They guide physicians and they guide the, the standard of care, in particular in the U.S., of what's, what's typically done. And it's not just medicine and it's not just um, medication. Also, behavioral health care is the subject of many of the systematic reviews. What are the best methodologies for issues of psychology and psychological care, not just physical health care? So it's very, very exciting to be involved in working with folks from around the world in this cooperative effort to try to ensure that we, as consumers of health care, have access to the best information about what really works and the best evidence supporting what really works as we make decisions, important decisions, with our doctors as partners about our healthcare needs. The consumer network is international, so we have consumers from all over the world. What the consumers within CCNet do is try to give some input into the reviews that the collaboration are producing to try and make them relevant to consumers so that you're not only speaking to service providers, you, you, you're, telling, you're giving some guidance to consumers what is best for their health. It's really important because, um, that we do get involved, not just in how scientific or research information is put together, but it's increasing awareness that healthcare providers don't know everything and making our own judgments about, for example, screening programs or, or treatment programs. So if you were going to buy a new washing machine, you would go read the consumer report, look at the evidence of which one's more effective, which one's more environmentally friendly, what price is the best. Well, when you're thinking about healthcare options, when you're thinking about what intervention might help in terms of treating your diabetes, when you're thinking about how you might treat or, or stop smoking, why don't we use that same approach? And what the Cochrane Library does is it provides you with an independent leading uh, information source, which is like this consumer report. So an easy summary of which treatments are going to be the most effective. The fact that it's available to consumers equalizes the process of being a recipient of health care and, and, and it's, it allows consumers to be able to access information from other sources other than a health provider and I think that's very important. I, I want my patients to be a partner in their health care because ultimately my, the decisions are going to affect them much more than they're going to affect me. We would like all consumers worldwide to have access so they can find out for themselves, make their own decisions. I started a TV show of, called Evidence-Based Medicine. The perspective of the patient is that doctors are always uh, basing their decision the best evidence. And uh, it was a surprise to them to hear from the TV that that was not the case. Consumer involvement is a way to empower people to take control of their health care. And so you can get involved in Cochrane Reviews in many ways. You can just read them or you can even be involved in developing them. And so that's really a great way to know all about uh, an issue in health care that means a lot to you. We can have an active involvement in our own treatment. And of course by having an active involvement we're actually helping ourselves because it means we care about getting better and not dependent on somebody else making us better. Well, healthcare providers can't possibly keep up with all the information that's coming out every day on new therapies and new treatments. And so the Cochrane Reviews help summarize this for them and make it easily accessible. The benefit to practicing physicians, I think is clear. Somebody has summarized some very complicated information and put it in a form that presumably clinicians can understand. I read the BMJ, the British Medical Journal, a lot, and I have started to collect doctors complaining that they don't understand 
a lot of the jargon and methodology points themselves. So I see them in the same boat in many ways as, as regular consumers, regular lay, average intelligent lay people. The Cochrane Collaboration is probably the most prestigious evidence-based organization in the world. It's a huge organization made up of primarily volunteers that have no affiliation to any industry. Therefore, it'll give you the absolute purest information of what is actually effective and what isn't in healthcare. You need the knowledge to make a good decision, particularly to the thing that has the most value, that's life and health. So uh, the Cochrane collaboration maps the knowledge to reduce the uncertainty in regard to the decisions, and that is very important to make the decision that has a higher probability of good results. Medicine changed with the randomized control trial, and the Cochrane is essentially the human genome project, a big scientific enterprise to take randomized controlled trials and figure out the best evidence for treating human disease.